In this video, we're gonna have a look at Dialog Enhance version 2. As in the previous version, the plugin consists of four modules noise reduction, dynamics control, spectral correction, and loudness boost. I'm recording this audio in an office room with a simple microphone and there's some computer fan noise in the background. If I switch off the plugin, you can clearly hear the difference and the noise becomes audible again. Also, the spectral correction is making an obvious difference to the recording. Let's have a look at each individual module. The noise reduction module has only one simple control to set the desired amount of noise reduction. Depending on the input signal, you would usually set it between around 6 and 20 dB. The dynamic control module is an automatic dynamic compressor. In automatic mode, it will learn its parameterization itself. You can either leave it in automatic mode to make it adapt to different signals or switch to static mode once a convenient setting has been found. You can then also change the parameters manually if you like to. Similarly, the spectral correction module can also operate in automatic mode and will correct spectral imbalances and resonances automatically. If a pleasant setting has been found, you can switch to static mode and modify the EQ curve if necessary. The final module is loudness boost. It can be used to bring the dialog recording to a specific loudness level. You can set a desired output loudness and the visualization shows the current loudness of your signal. If you switch to dynamic mode, the gain will automatically be adjusted to achieve the target loudness. Each module can be switched on and off individually. For example, in some cases you might only require the noise reduction and the spectral correction and leave out the dynamics control and loudness boost.